guys, Skinny Pigs one So today's video, I'm going to share with you how I get my fleece to start wicking. So wicking is the process of getting the outer coating off your fleece by washing so that urine can pass through the fleece and into your absorbent layer. So fleece is going to need to be washed in your washing machine. I would not recommend hand washing. So let's see what fleece looks like when it's not wicking properly. So this is fresh fleece here. I'm pouring some water on top. You can see the water is just pooling and staying on top. So this fleece needs to be washed so that it'll wick properly. So now I'm going to show you what fleece looks like when it's ready and wicking. So you pour the water on and immediately it's pulled through into the next layer. So that's what you want to get before you put it into your guinea pig's cage. So what I use for my wash is Tide Pods, the free and gentle. I use two of them per wash load. So now let's put our fleece in the washing machine. Make sure you put it in very evenly. Liners get super heavy once they're wet with water and it could really offset the balance. What I personally do so I don't feel like I'm wasting water is I'll put some fresh fleece in the bottom that needs to wick along with dirty fleece that I already need to wash. Sometimes you have to wash your new fleece up to five times I find to get it ready. So the setting you want to use is hot water. Your fleece will shrink in hot water, so that's why everybody should be making their cage liners extra large to compensate for this. You also want to use it on a heavy setting to really agitate and get things moving because fleece liners are very heavy, so that you really want to make sure it's working well to wash it properly. Something else that I add to the wash load is white vinegar. I just roughly guess and pour some on top. It doesn't really matter. So they find that helps, especially with older fleece to get scents out. So this is what I personally do to get my fleece cage liners and little pads all set to go. If you have beds, you don't really need to do this. You just need to do it for the smaller pads you're placing in their beds since they're peeing on the pads. So it's really important to get your fleece wicking before you set it in your guinea pig's cage. If it's not wicking properly, they're going to get dirty, wet bums, which is not healthy for them. Okay, if you have any questions, leave a comment down below. As always, links to where I buy stuff is in the description box and also a lot of other helpful videos. Bye guys! Thanks for watching. I hope to see you again real soon. In case you have time for another video, I've left two here for you to pick from.